In terms of recovery procedures, strategies, priorities, um, when, uh, I mean, you, you need to do uh, testing. So, you know, we're, we're going to do certification in a sense. Um, we are going to test whether when we, uh, you know, restore uh, certain critical applications at the hot site um, that they do, in fact, work. Uh, so we're doing the certification there. We're probably not doing accreditation, full-on accreditation. We, we don't, um, again, you know, senior management is going to have to determine whether or not they they want it if they want to be involved if they want to make the call and have you know full accreditation that yes this is acceptable um or no it's not um you know that's that's going to be their call that's you know senior management is ultimately responsible for everything but they uh again you know considering uh business continuity or disaster recovery scenario, um, they may accept the fact that, okay, you know, some uh, uh, decisions may be made uh, to get the business back up and running without formal approval from senior management. So, uh, again, you know, certification... Yeah, we need to, you know, do some basic testing, but uh, full accreditation may not be on the cards. Again, that decision needs to be made in advance. Senior management is, is going to uh, make that decision, and then it goes into the uh, procedures for business continuity. Uh, disaster recovery, you know, those those decisions uh, then become the document that you follow. So, um, data recovery. Um, as I said, you know, data recovery means your, your backups. And, and backups, as I say, you know, there's almost no uh, security situation that having a, a backup, a proper backup, or different types of backups. Uh, is uh, not going to answer. So, um, you know, it, all, if there is one thing that we can tell people in terms of, uh, you know, one thing you can do to secure yourself, make a backup. Um, so, uh, there are different types of backups, of course. Um, so, do we want a full backup? Um, which is, you know, we just back up everything. Uh, operating system, applications, data, or, you know, even if we're just backing up the data, uh, the full database. Um, so let's just consider the database uh, for the moment as we talk about the others. Differential backup is the, uh, the differences. Any, uh, anything that has happened, any changes that have been made since the last full backup and then incremental backup is um, you have uh, all your backups um, back to the time of the last full backup and each of them is the differences from the time before so um, in order to uh, do a full restoration you take your last full backup and then you take all of your incremental backups um, in the order in which they were made and apply them now um, there's <laughs> there's speed advantages both ways um, a full backup is the most time intensive to make but it's the least time intensive to restore because you only have to restore the one full backup the 
uh, differential backup, um, you have to have the last full backup and uh, the latest differential backup. And of course, for the incremental, you need the last full backup and every incremental backup since and apply them in the proper order. Um, so, uh, the, the full backup, uh, th it takes the longest to make, but is the fastest to restore. The incremental backup is the fastest, the, the quickest to make, <coughs> but the, uh, the longest to restore. So, uh, again, you know, which, which is more important, um, uh, making backups quickly or being able to uh, restore quickly in your particular situation. The, uh, oh, the, yeah, the one more here, um, and that's remote journaling, again, in, in terms of um, a database um, uh, with transactions, uh, what we do is we have a full backup and then we are uh, sending a, a journal that is all the transactions as they are being made are also being copied to our off-site backup location. And uh, therefore, when we go to restore, what we do is uh, restore the last full backup that we have and then apply through the application as a batch, all of the transactions that have happened since that last full backup. Um, so that is remote journaling. Um, it's interesting, uh, journaling systems. Um, uh, I suppose uh, these days few people have actually seen them in operation. <laughs> it's quite... Uh, Intriguing when you have actually seen them in operation, but uh, okay. Uh, ah, yes, the um, the incident response data that you're you're getting in the midst of um, uh, you know an interruption, a, a disaster, and uh, what you're doing in terms of both continuity and and recovery situations, depending on which it was, all of that information. Um, probably needs to be secured in some way because um, you don't want people to know too much about um, what kind of uh, problems you run into and, and what your plans are. So uh, that is one thing to, to consider. And the other, of course, as, as I keep repeating, you have to get management approval of these plans.